new Notebook LM update is insane. Okay, listen up. Google just dropped something massive. Notebook LM got a crazy update, and I need to show you this right now. You can now customize how the AI talks to you, like actually change its personality with one click. It's insane. And that's not even the best part. It now creates audio and video overviews in over 80 languages for free. Plus, they upgraded the entire backend with Gemini 2.5 Flash, which means way better answers. I'm going to show you exactly how to use all this stuff. The demos I have for you are wild. By the end of this, you're going to know how to make Notebook LM sound like your personal assistant. Let's go. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. So first thing you need to know is what actually changed, because this isn't just some small feature update. This is a complete game changer for anyone doing research or creating content or running a business. Notebook LM now has something called Configure Chat. What this means is you can literally tell the AI how to respond to you. You want short answers, done. You want creative explanations, easy. You want it to sound like a professor. One click. This is huge because before this, everyone got the same boring default response style. Now you control it. And here's where it gets better. If you upgrade to Notebook LM Plus, you get even more control, custom response length, higher usage limits, team sharing, analytics on how your team uses it. But the free version already gives you incredible power. So don't worry if you're not paying yet. The second massive update is audio and video overviews. These got completely rebuilt. You can now generate these in way more languages. We're talking 80 plus languages here. So if you're creating content for international audiences, this is perfect. You upload your sources and Notebook LM creates an entire audio conversation about your content, like a podcast, and you can export it and use it however you want. The third thing, and this is technical but important, Notebook LM is now powered by Gemini 2.5 Flash. This is Google's newer model. What this means for you is better reasoning, better understanding of complex topics, better handling of images and PDFs and videos. The outputs are just smarter now. And finally, they added better source discovery and public notebook sharing. So you can find sources easier and share your notebooks with anyone. Super useful if you're collaborating or building resources for a team. Now, let me show you exactly how to use this stuff because knowing features means nothing if you don't know how to actually implement them. First up, chat personalization. This is where the magic happens. You go into Notebook LM and open any notebook. On the right side, you'll see Configure Chat. Click that. You'll see a list of preset styles to test this. I uploaded a research paper about AI and marketing. Then I asked Notebook LM the same exact question twice. First with the default style, then with the creative style. The difference was massive. With the default style, it gave me a straightforward summary. Clear, organized, boring. With the creative style, it told me the same information, but with examples and metaphors and way more personality. Same facts, completely different experience, and it took one second to switch between them. This is powerful because you can match the output to what you actually need. Multiple personalities, that's the unlock here. Now let's talk about audio and video overviews because this feature is absolutely wild. Here's how it works. You upload your sources to Notebook LM, could be PDFs, Google Docs, YouTube links, websites, whatever. Then you click generate audio overview. Notebook LM creates a full conversation between two AI hosts discussing your content. It sounds like a real podcast. The voices are natural. The conversation flows. They ask each other questions. They build on each other's points. It's crazy good. And now with the new update, you can change the output language. So I generated an overview in English first. Then I switched the language to Spanish and generated another one. Both were perfect. The voices adapted. The conversation made sense. This opens up so many possibilities for multilingual content creation. You can export these audio files and use them as voiceovers or podcast episodes or social media clips or training materials. The use cases are endless. And remember, this is all free. I want to tell you about something that's going to take your AI game to the next level. It's my AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I teach you how to scale your business and get more customers and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. The link is in the description. If you're serious about using AI to grow your business, you need to be in there. Okay, back to Notebook LM. So why did the output suddenly get so much better? It's because of the backend upgrade to Gemini 2.5 Flash. This is Google's newest model, and it's significantly smarter than the previous version. Better at understanding context, better at reasoning through complex questions, better at handling different types of media like images, 
and charts in PDFs. What this means for you is more accurate answers, less hallucination, better citations, and faster processing. You're basically getting a massive AI upgrade without having to do anything. Google just flipped the switch, and now your Notebook LM is powered by better technology. Now, let me give you some pro tips that most people miss. These are the things that separate people who use Notebook LM casually from people who actually get results with it. Tip number one, use diverse sources. Don't just upload one PDF and expect magic. Upload multiple sources, PDFs, YouTube videos, articles, Google Docs. The more variety you give Notebook LM, the better it understands your topic and the more comprehensive the outputs become. Tip number two, tune your chat style based on what you need. If you're doing initial research, use creative mode to explore ideas. When you need specific facts, switch to concise. When you're writing something formal, switch to professor. Match the tool to the task. Tip number three, always verify citations. This is critical. When Notebook LM gives you an answer, it includes citations click on them, check the actual source, make sure the information is accurate. This takes 10 seconds and saves you from publishing wrong information. Tip number four, use audio overviews as content assets, export them, repurpose them, use clips in your videos or podcasts. These are high quality audio files that you own. Don't let them sit in Notebook LM, put them to work. Now I wanna show you something important, limitations and accuracy checks because I don't want you to think this tool is perfect. It's not, no AI is. I ran a test where I uploaded a detailed case study with specific numbers. Then I asked Notebook LM to summarize it. The summary was good, but it missed one important detail, a key. Metric that completely changed the interpretation of the results. If I hadn't checked the citation, I would have missed it. So here's what you do. When you get an answer, look at the citations, click on them. It'll show you exactly where in your source that information came from. Read that section, confirm it's accurate. This takes a few extra seconds, but it's worth it, especially if you're using this information for business decisions or publish content. The other limitation is hallucination. Sometimes AI makes stuff up. Um, it's rare with Notebook LM because it's grounded in your sources, but it can still happen. So if something sounds off or too good to be true, double check it. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Privacy. A lot of people worry about uploading sensitive documents to AI tools. Fair concern. Here's what you need to know. Notebook LM doesn't use your data to train models. Your notebooks are private. You control who sees them. If you're using Google Workspace, your admin can set additional privacy controls. That said, if you're working with extremely sensitive information like legal documents or confidential business plans, you use common sense. Don't upload stuff that could damage your business if it leaked. Even though the risk is low, it's not zero. For most use cases though, Notebook LM is totally safe. I use it for client research and content planning, and I've never had an issue. Okay, so here's what you need to do right now. Go to Notebook LM. If you don't have an account, make one, it's free. Upload some sources related to whatever project you're working on. Could be articles, videos, PDFs, whatever. Then try out the different chat styles. Ask the same question in concise mode and creative mode. See the difference. Then generate an audio overview. Listen to it, export it, use it. The goal is to actually use this tool, not just learn about it, because knowing features doesn't make you money, using them does. And if you wanna go deeper with AI and learn how to actually build systems that generate leads and customers and revenue, check out my AI Money Lab. It's completely free. Inside you get 50 plus free AI tools, 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts, over 1000 free NAN workflows. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, how to generate thousands of leads for free with AI, Plus you get access to a community of people doing the same thing. Proven case studies, the whole blueprint. Link is in the description. Go join right now. Julian Goldie reads every single comment. So make sure you drop a comment below. Remember, AI is moving fast. If you're not keeping up, you're falling behind. Notebook LM just gave you a massive upgrade for free. Don't waste it. Go use it. Build something, create something, make something happen. I'll see you in the next one.